G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for another weekly free instant tournament. As usual, eight boards on BBO. I'll show you how to get into it. So first of all, what you want to do is go over to Solitaire Bridge and then down to weekly free instant tournament. Give it a shot and let's compare. Ooh, nice hand. Uh, so we've got a seven, three, two, one shape uh, with three aces, love aces. So uh, here we'll just start with one diamond. It was pass pass to us. Okay. There's a pretty awkward problem. Um, so I've got a decent hand. My partner is sort of like a maximum passed hand um, with some hearts. Hi Sharon, thanks for coming in. Um, so simple things you could do is you could just bid three diamonds, right? Pretty practical bid. Um, but like I have dreams of things going higher. Um, if partner's got a spade stopper, like king of spades, king of hearts, queen of diamonds, I could say it's making nine tricks. Hey, David, Carlo and Phil, thanks for coming in. How's everyone doing? So like, I think three diamonds is probably like a safe thing to do, but let, let's think of a few hands partners could, could have like king, queen of hearts, king of clubs. Um, and then we've got like uh, one spade and we have to deal with diamonds. If I've got a couple of diamonds, um, we could maybe make more. Uh, if partner's got a spade stopper and the diamond suit runs, we might be able to do that. Hey, Steve, uh, Harold. Hi, Cheryl. Thanks for coming in. Bunch of people coming in today. It's always good to see. Oh, God. Hey, Pete, any theme of the day here? Um, I hadn't thought of any. Um, <laughs> we'll play, play a few hands and see what to do. I've, like, I'm wondering about, like, a source of tricks. And when in time you got, like, a source of tricks, I'm always pretty optimistic. And... I think I'm like one card off, like giving a like three no a genuine shot. Like if I had the ten of diamonds, I reckon there'd be enough chances that I could like get three no to happen. I think I'm just gonna go low. I feel so sad about it. Oh wow! Oh, <laughs> why do I even need to bother? Like partner's just gonna game force anyway. Um. Okay, uh, so partner should have a couple of stops in spades, like an 11 count. Um, yeah. Hi, Julie. <laughs> like maybe I should do more <laughs> now that partner's done it. Right, why did part... Okay, so partner just really didn't like three diamonds. So they're like, all right, let's just give three no trumps a shot. Anyway, okay, so West preempted two spades. They've got six along. Looks like they've got king jack to six. And we've got two hearts, three clubs is five, and a diamond is six. Points wise, we've got 10 opposite 13, 17 missing. Um, we want to build tricks on diamonds. Do we want to double finesse? Do we want to play like diamond to the ace? We'll see. Um, if they, oh, okay. Um, I was actually expecting them to continue spades here. So uh, I think there's some chance that Wes is just like really weak and has seven spades, um, which makes me think that double finessing is what I want to do. All right. Good news, everybody. Oh, singleton diamond there. All right. We've got a beautiful beer card. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the diamonds are all good. We'll just go over to this uh, king of hearts. I can't add the 10 of diamonds, right? <laughs> At this moment, I was like, maybe I should have just played one more diamond just in case I forgot partner. But yeah, it's always nice to start off these tournaments with the beer card. Uh, whenever I get these, I always get questions about what the B card is. It's the seven of diamonds. General idea is extra game you and your partner can play is if you can win the final trick with the seven of diamonds, 
When it's not Trump's, they owe you a beer. The robots aren't great at paying up. 85%. Uh, there we go. That looks a bit better. Um, how the people got to five diamonds? Wow, <laughs> they took their partners three no trumps out to five diamonds. Like, I think this is a much more reasonable way to get to five diamonds, um, taking like this optimistic approach. But as I said, I was like, oh, maybe I want to get to three no. It seems like three no is there or thereabouts. Um, I figure if I bid three spades, my partner will bid three no anyway. Good start. All right, five, four, 15 count. So one spade and then probably just bid two hearts or not. Okay, unusual, uh, five, five. Preemptive raise, five, oops. All right, so they're sacrificing. I have no reason to play at the five level. I think it's our hand, so I'll just double. Um, okay, uh, the diamonds are positioned better for me than I thought, so that's always good. Ooh, partner's got the ace, king of spades. Do they? Um, I don't think we I don't think that's a singleton there. Why? What's going on? All right. Why did my partner not take the ace of spades if they have it? Why would East duck the ace of spades if they have that? Why did my partner switch to a diamond? I don't think the diamonds are going anywhere. I don't think my partner's got a singleton diamond. Huh. I'm thoroughly confused and I can't see a good reason for any of it. Like, I'll stay on lead and then I'll just, well, I'll try and stay on lead. They might win the ace. Oh yeah. That, <laughs> the four spades preemptive raise. Okay, I got five spades. Yeah, I still don't know why they needed to switch to a diamond there. Like, I guess it doesn't hurt. They have five five. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. So I think my my job's done here. And I think they got the rest. Sixty-four percent. Beautiful. Huh. Six clubs. So if you bid five spades, they go on and bid six clubs. I, I like. I think five spades is not a good bid. Like you make five spades, do you? you like the ace of diamonds is in the right right spot. Uh. I guess if the ace of diamonds was in the other spot, like they might make five clubs. So on like this layout, it's kind of all right. Partner's got a stiff club. So bidding five spades wor works wonders, but I really don't see a great reason for doing it other than it's successful today. Yeah, you just lose a... You, you can finesse the jack of hearts, all that good stuff. I really despise the five level, so to me, I was not fitting there. Uh, but uh, 64%. Uh, 12 points. All right. And I'll just raise the two hearts. I got a singleton king here, so trying to evaluate this. You don't want to count three points for the king and three points for a singleton or anything. Um, so this is just like a pretty normal 12 count, more or less. Um, should I accept the invite? Um, I really don't see a good reason to <laughs> like singleton Kings pretty ugly. I do have good intermediates. That's something. Um, I could see you making game a decent amount of time, but here just like a lack of anywhere to build tricks. Uh, 
At imps, I would be bidding four hearts here. Match points, I'll take the low road. Okay, so what do we got? We've got a heart loser. We've got a couple of spade losers, but they might break. Uh, and it depends which hand you want to count from, but I've either got four diamonds and a club or four clubs and a diamond. Looks like cross roughing is a decent idea. Um, issue with cross roughing is like, it'll be hard to set up the last spade. Um, so like I could just draw trumps, build spades, try and get a couple of roughs. I think working on diamonds is probably pretty good. One thing that you can do is lead the singleton. Oh, well, they can't, they can see this south hand. Okay. Seeing as if they could see this north hand, I'd wanted to lead a diamond. This hand would take the ace off, and if they have it, not that they necessarily should. And when they do, then I can take a roughing finesse on the way back. Um, I still think winning and just playing a diamond's pretty decent. Huh. Okay, so hearts are five zero, and the king's offside. Makes me happy that I took the low road. Um, yeah, seven of diamonds, right. Diamond pass a heart. Um, okay. Uh, what do I want to do from here? They took the ace of diamonds. I could just like win and take a roughing finesse in diamonds. That would be something decent. I could overtake and just lead a club towards the king and maybe I can sort of cross rough from there. I think the roughing finesse in diamonds is a decent choice. Okay. Uh, I could now play a spade to the ace and rough a diamond. Um, which again, like it's roughing with the ace, but my king's always going to lose anyway. So getting a rough there is fine. So maybe I go like king of spades, spade to the ace, rough a diamond. Uh, alternatively, I could play a club towards the king. And if it loses to west, then I get uh, my full cross rough in. I really... Yeah, I really want West to have the Ace of Clubs. Okay. Um, so, uh, there's a good chance that this gets roughed uh, by East and they just draw a trump. Um, and if they do that, rough, draw the trump. I've still got the King of Hearts to lose. But like they're roughing my six of diamonds. Um, alternatively, let's think about this. I got three tricks. I could take two spades and if I can cross rough, so let, let's say I play uh, a rough with the ace, rough a club, ace of spades, spade, rough a club. So that would be two plus my three roughs. That'd be eight tricks. Um, uh, I haven't seen any spade discards. East could have a singleton spade. All right, so eight tricks I think is a fair chance. Might get fewer if there's a singleton spade and they rough in. Draw trumps and maybe I don't waste get my ace, but probably work out pretty similar. Alternatively, can I do better than eight tricks? So let's say that I just discard here east trumps uh, and then they play a trump. I win my ace, that's one trick. Um, I can then uh, rough a club, there's two. Spade to the king, spade back. If they rough in, so what? Uh, so I get my ace. Yeah, I, I think um, going for the cross rough gets more tricks. All right, um, 
So they discarded a club. So my king lost to the ace. They have two west. So east started with two clubs because they've discarded a club there. They started with two diamonds. Uh, so they have four spades, five hearts, two, two. Okay. Um, rough. I was really hoping there would be a singleton spade honor there. Um, cause there's like some sort of end play that I'd be able to do if, uh, West had a singleton jack or something. Anyway, down one. That was a pretty interesting hand. Glad I went the low road there. Uh, so people weren't actually able to make that. They, uh, passed it in. They passed in their triple four, one, 12 count. Well, that worked well when <laughs> I was glad I didn't pick game. Works well when, how does a hand with a six, six shape get passed in? Mm. That's pretty incredible. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty weird hand there. But, um, moving on to board number four. All right, here we've got 14 points, flat hand. So one club pass three, no trumps. Five clubs. Okay. Uh, we got a spade and a club to lose. They might get a uh, diamond rough. I don't know about the good diamonds there. Um, I could be super greedy, win the queen of diamonds, heart to the queen, ace of hearts, pitch the spade. Um, two diamonds. Yeah. I think the greed is a bad idea, but we'll see. Like, I don't think there's any reason to think that the finesse is working. Um, I don't think they're going to get the diamond rough particularly easily. Like, I often expect them to go ace of spades, spade here. Yep, we can just rough high. And we check for the beer card, which we don't have, and we claim. Yeah, 68%. So the heart was on side and the diamonds were breaking. So uh, there were 12 tricks available. Um, no one found it. So it was worth 100% if you did it. Um, I Someone bid to six clubs and went down. They got a club lead and they just cashed the ace straight away. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Um, 5, 11, 20 points balanced. We can't bid two no trumps. That's unusual two no trumps. Whenever you're strong as the overcaller, you want to start with a double and then you want to bid no trumps. And if I bid no trumps here, it now says I was too strong to overcall one no trump. So I'm showing my 19 to 21 here. Uh, partner, that's six hearts. Um, I'll just bid three no trumps. Uh, I feel like partner can bid four hearts if they had six. So I was slightly skeptical that maybe they just had five. So just thought I'd give them an opportunity. They did have six. All right. Okay. We got a couple of spade losers, two club losers, no diamonds and the hearts. And I said, we've got 20, 24 and East opened. So there's 16 points missing. Uh, West has up to four of them. Looks like the ace, king of spades are there. I can ditch my clubs on the good diamonds. All right. Um, so things look relatively balanced. I think there's a good chance that East is, uh, like 12 to 14 balanced. 
So one option is I could go ace of diamonds, rough a diamond, lead a heart towards my queen. Uh, getting back to that north hand is pretty hard. So let's say West has 14 points. That gives West two. That'd have like a couple of jacks there. Uh, they could have room for the uh, ten of hearts. Uh, the not the ten of hearts, the king of hearts. Um, I could play west for the jack of hearts. So if I think that east has ace, king of spades, king of clubs, king of hearts, there's not a whole lot of other room left out. So I could just like lead the ten of hearts and let it run playing west for the jack. I could play ace of diamonds, trump of diamonds, lead a heart towards the hand. Uh, the issue with that, they go up with the king. I'm like, I can't, like my main issue here is let's say I go ace of diamonds, rough of diamond. There's a fair chance east has like two diamonds, maybe three diamonds. Um, I lead a heart towards this hand. I go up with the king and they play another uh, diamond, right? Let's say I've got, you know, a four triple three on spades or clubs. I win and get rid of a club. I cash my queen of hearts. And if I don't see the jack fall, I'm stuck here. And when I play something, they get a trump promotion. Um, if the jack is here. I'm going to play West for the Jack of Hearts, just let it run. All right. Uh, so I can play Heart back to the Queen. Now Ace of Diamonds, Rough of Diamond. Nine of Hearts. Get there. I forgot about the rough. <laughs> anyway, okay. 89%. So I think this one has a bunch of traps in it. For oh, Lots of people just playing a diamond. They overcalled a diamond. Yeah, it's sort of too strong for, for a diamond. I think you definitely want to bid double and then bid um, a no trump. Show you a massive balanced hand. You don't actually need to jump to two no trumps. One no trump's enough. Uh, this two no trump should be like 22 to 24 or something. 21, 23. You're like fine for that, but I don't think you actually need to. Um, so East had 4-4, four, four, so they didn't have that third heart. Yeah. Pretty awkward one about entries and what you should actually do. A few different ways to try and handle it. Okay, uh, on to board number six. We've got a flat 12 count, so diamond, two clubs, three diamonds. Don't have anything else to say. Right. Okay, so what do I got? I got 12 ups at six, so that's 18, 22 points missing. It's like 11 and 11, 12 and 10, because it's a best hand tournament. Best hand tournament is I got the best or equal best hand at the table. So this isn't really an inference I'd usually be able to use. Um, but in this sort of tor tournament, you can. So I really think it's like 12 and 10. Like I can't imagine East passing twice with an 11 count. Right? Like six. 18. Yeah, they've got 22 points. So let's work on the premise of 12 and 10. Looks like there's the ace king of clubs over there. The spades are probably there are two. Uh, losers. I got two club losers. I got the kind of two heart losers, like the ace and the ten of hearts I have to worry about. One spade and a couple of diamonds. Diamonds I want to lead towards my king queen of diamonds, hoping the ace is over here. Um, hearts I want to lead towards my hearts, hope that the 10 drops or hearts are 3-3. Three, three. Spades, I'm going to lose that spade. But let's keep an eye out for high card points. We might pick something up as we go. So there's uh, 7 of their 12 points. Uh, 
I should have put in the Ida hearts there. That was silly. Um, with the two of hearts play, I think hearts are either three, three or like five, one. Um, I got this spade loser here, so I was just going to throw that away. This is an easier way to get back to the North hand. So I had that spade loser and there was absolutely nothing I could do with it. By throwing it away on the club, um, I've just sort of created that shortage there. And Wes has played the two, then the four of hearts. So it looks like hearts should be three, three. They're not, they let low from a doubleton. Okay. Um, I got one rough in. I need to lead towards my diamonds again. And we're just losing one more. Wow, I got 75%. I, I was wondering if I'd messed that up by um, not putting the eight of hearts in. I guess it didn't really matter. Some people went down three. You have to four spades sometimes. Bob, a heart. Oh, if you don't open this hand. So well, uh, <laughs> I guess the people that passed uh, this 12 count got then punished on this board by the opponents bidding to four spades. Um, yeah. Anyway, three diamonds down two. Is that, it feels like that's probably the best you can do on this hand. Yeah. No one got out for down one. All right. Uh, here we've got 12 high card points, four, five, two, two. So let's start with uh, one heart. Two hearts, beautiful, that'll be. Okay, um, I got three spade losers. I got one heart loser. I got two clubs. Uh, I might be able to throw two of my spades away on clubs. I might be able to trump them. Uh, trumping them looks difficult. Setting up the club seems more plausible. This looks like it's uh, top of a doubleton. Um, so I might go like club, club, club rough and I just throw a spade away. Is that all right? They then play a spade and then I go up there and yeah. Well, Fox card with the Jack, I don't really want them to go club, club, club rough. So. No getting past them. So ace king to five clubs there. Um, let's say I rough this high. I just create another loser for myself doing that. Uh, Steve said, what's your opinion of Flannery? Um, it's a fine convention. It went, used to be popular, went out of fashion. It's coming back into fashion. Um, I've played it with some partnerships. Most partnerships I play it, don't play it with, but it, like it solves some problems, uh, but gives up a preemptive bid. So depends how much you like your two diamonds and what you want to do with your two diamond bid. Um, hmm. They're going to rough, but like what? Let's look at my other alternatives. I rough high and go ace of spade spade to start trying to deal with these losers. They win and play another one. Do I rough high again? I don't think so. Um, I think I just want to duck this one. Again, I don't want East on lead. I don't want them uh, continuing. 
I want to make it hard for them to continue with that club. My Jack's now a winner and we can just draw trumps pretty comfortably. There's one more heart out. Seventy one percent. I thought most things people would do would do it. Yeah, most people are making two hearts. Someone again passing. <laughs> Lots of people just didn't want to play these hands. <laughs> I guess like they are very conservative openers. Um, and some are getting to four hearts, which is just like way too much. All right, uh, final board. We're tracking at 73%. So things are going great. And I got a flat 14. So we'll try three no trumps again. Partner didn't pick five minor this time. All right, we've got three spade winners, two diamonds is five, a club is six, a heart is seven. I can build an extra trick in diamonds. I can double finesse clubs. Uh, looks like they've got at least three heart winners. So what if I go for two diamonds, three clubs, three spades and a heart. So if hearts are four, four and I just double finesse clubs and uh, something vaguely friendly happens, then I'm okay. I think I can duck this first heart just for, you know, some semblance of safety. Oh, um, Queen and Jack, they've overtaken. Queen, Jack, 10. Um... Right. Uh, I think West has five hearts here. Um, so like if East had four hearts to the ace queen, they could duck. Jack, do they need to win the ace? They could duck again. Guess, yeah, hearts could be four, four. Um, if hearts are five, three, I, well, I don't think East has, um, five hearts. You got five hearts to the ace. I think that they would. They would probably just duck the second one as well. Um, they don't want to block up the heart suit. Yeah. So East doesn't have five hearts. So hearts are either four, four. Or West has five of them. Now, I could do something like low diamond to the nine, trying to get three diamonds, three spades, a heart, and two clubs. Uh, that would need the club on side anyway. I'd need the king of clubs here anyway. So I think I may as well just start with a club finesse. Now, usually you want to like do the deep finesse here, but I'm trying to like combine my chances of uh, one of the club honors on side and hearts 4-4, four, four, as well as the club king working and West having five hearts. Okay. So here we have to abandon diamonds. They're 4-4, four, four, so that's all right. We let go there. And we just finesse. So King Jack, third club offside, no good. 39%, ouch. Tough way to finish that one. Um, <laughs> Queen Jack, Dalton Diamond. Right. So, <laughs> if I just make the, is there a requirement for stoppers in an unbid suit to bid three no trumps? Not really. Um, like you, you, you often have a choice of like, do I want a bit of diamond or something? So if you really didn't want to have any protection in a suit, so if you had like three low, uh, you could do it. But um, if the opponents aren't bidding it, you don't need to worry about it. Uh, right. So 
I guess when they continue to club, I just have to guess, like, do I want to play for Queen, Jack, Doubleton, Diamond, or the club being on side? And then would they lead away from the Jack of Clubs? It would be a good play uh, for them to do that. Um, so not too upset about how I played that last one, but <laughs> Queen, Jack, Doubleton, Diamond. Not ever playing a Diamond was uh, costly there. But, um, yeah, I think I had a reasonable plan there. I'm not sure there's a better way to combine all your chances. Like maybe I can play one top diamond first. So, but my issue was, um, I wanted to like lose a diamond to east. So maybe I can lay down the king of diamonds first. So if you lay down the king of diamonds first, when east shows up with a diamond on a, now I've got queen jack doubleton as an option. Don't know. Interesting one to finish with. But uh, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this week's uh, instant tournament. Great to start off with a beer card as usual. Um, and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you again. And as usual, big shout out to all my patron supporters because without them, I wouldn't be able to make this. So if you want to support me and like what I do, uh, consider checking out my Patreon over there. Bye for now.